Hey everyone, Dr. Frunky here with a special unboxing video. This is special for a couple of reasons, but first I'm going to start off by showing you my lineup of Olight batons. So this is the uh, S1 series, and I have a number of them as you can see, but each one sort of uh, presents a unique aspect. Uh, I have the S1, the S Mini Titanium down here in Bee Blasted Titanium. I have the S1 BR, I have the S1 CU for brass and copper, and I have the S1R, the rechargeable version. There is a reason that I have so many iterations of this same light. This is my favorite EDC light. Uh, I used to really love the uh, Eagle Tag D25. I, I still maybe prefer a uh, clicky button on the back of the light, but these lights have made me so happy for so long that I keep buying more of them. And it's also important to me, the, the other reason that this video is important to me is why and how I got into these lights and the meaning of them and the meaning of them now in the terms of one of our lost brothers. Many of you might be aware in the community that one of the really most important guys out there, Marshall Hoots, uh, recently passed away. Uh, Marshall was the owner and operator of Going Gear, and he is really well known throughout the community as being a big proponent of Olight and their products, and he went to great lengths to work with them on bringing some exclusives to Going Gear early in the game uh, of the S1. He recognized that the S1 was a really special light, and so he went and asked them to make some special editions. Now, the S1CU, uh, as everyone is aware, um, Marshall really loved copper, and they were the first people to begin selling this light, and they've had a couple other copper O-lights that they've sold uh, first. This one was not exclusive to Going Gear. Uh, however, this brass one was. Uh, and that one is evidenced by the fact that there is the Going Gear flame on the back of it. So this this was a really special light to me. And, uh, you know, it symbolized Marshall's dedication to the community in bringing unique and awesome products to his, uh, to his company and to everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and move all of these guys except for the uh, brass one off of the field here. And that's because I have a new one. This is another S Mini, but this one is the S1 Baton in raw brass. Now, some of you may be thinking, Dr. Frunky, you already have an S Mini and you already have an S1 BR. Why did you buy this S Mini BR? And well, I'm going to tell you. Recently, Olight, well, uh, last week uh, actually, uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to release this video, so when I, as of making this video, last week, Olight did a promotion in support of Marshall Hoots and the Hoots family. Because of his untimely death, he left a family behind that is going to have to figure out how to move forward. And Olight did something amazing. And I, I already liked Olight as a company with regards to the products that they made, but now I like them as a company in terms of their service to their people. They ran a promotion that for all day on Friday, I believe it was October the 7th, all of the money spent on the olightworld.com store would be sent to the Hoots family, 100% of the proceeds. And in that day, with some promotion around the community, they raised over $60,000 for the Hoots family. Now, I recognize that $60,000 is not a life-changing amount of money, but it's enough money to get a family through a difficult time. It helps with the transition, and it's an amazing gesture in my mind that a company that is not owned or operated or even related to Marshall in any real way other than friendship would do such a kind thing. And so on that day, I went to Going Gear, uh, I went to olightstore.com and I purchased this light. And I purchased this one because I knew I already loved the S Mini and it meant something to me that uh, this brass version was Marshall's exclusive version that he got for his store. And so I'm, I'm really happy to have picked this up in support of him and his family. I definitely will carry this light a whole lot. 
It's not very dissimilar to the uh, original S1BR. It's about 10% smaller. They say it's about 10% more powerful. So um, it's got a uh, one of the TIR optic uh, lenses right here. It's a pretty interesting light there. It will max out at about 550 lumens, so very, very bright there for such a small light. And it comes with the uh, CR123A battery already installed. So that's really nice. These guys have some excellent, excellent batteries. To follow through uh, with the discussion of purchasing things at Olight Store, I also went and bought a couple of these rechargeable RCR123A batteries. These are, my, in my opinion, some of the best ones on the market. I've had a number of them and they have served me very well. Super high output and they hold a charge for a nice long time, so highly recommended there. If you have one of these S1s, I would recommend picking up that rechargeable one and the Olight recharging station, just because it means you don't have to keep buying batteries for these lights, and so it's, it's really nice. So thanks for watching, guys. This is a short video on this. I wanted to say, uh, I wanted to give my condolences to the Hoots family. Marshall seemed like a really cool guy. I never met him personally, but I watched a lot of his videos, and I loved his passion for his work, uh, his passion for the community, and how he brought his own personal flair to his products. Uh, a lot of you guys who follow my channel know that I like to bring a certain personal flair to some of my items. You know, I love the green. I bring green into a lot of my different knives and uh, I find ways of sneaking it in there on different things. So I certainly understand and appreciate somebody who's got a flair uh, about themselves. Now Marshall really enjoyed copper. He got a few uh, other exclusives. I had the Southern Grind Spider Monkey in copper from Going Gear. Uh, so I definitely liked that knife a whole lot. They've got a copper um, Boker Quaken uh, that I'm super tempted by. It looks like a really cool knife. Uh, I just haven't pulled the trigger on that. So, uh, you know, Marshall was a good guy. He just seemed like a guy that I could be friends with. And it is just a shock to me that someone as young as him uh, is just not with us anymore. And it's extremely sad. And I hope that this gesture from Olight and from the knife and light community out there helps the Hoots family make it through this difficult time. So, Thank you guys for watching. Click like and subscribe to my channel. Head over to goinggear.com and maybe buy something from there. Help that company keep going and keep doing amazing things in Marshall's memory. And definitely go and check out the Olight S1 lineup. I am a huge, huge fan of the Olight series and the S1s in particular just for their size and form factor and, and power for such a small light. I'm going to enjoy the hell out of this new brass light and you're gonna see this on my Instagram at Dr. Frunky so go ahead and go over there and check that out well thanks for watching this video guys and I'll talk to you later as always this is Dr. Frunky saying take care